بسم الله وكفى وصلاة وسلام على عباده الذين اصطفى خصوصا على أفضلهم وخاتم النبيين محمد الأمين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قوم ادخلوا الأرض المقدسة التي كتب الله لكم إلى آخر الآية صدق الله العظيم We begin with Allah's blessed name We praise him and we glorify him as he ought to be praised and glorified. And we pray for peace and for blessings on all his noble messengers and in particular on the last of them all the blessed prophet Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. Banu Israel the Israelite people are in Egypt and they have been enslaved by Pharaoh Fir'aun and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raised the man Nabi Musa alayhi salam the Prophet Moses to deliver them out of bondage out of slavery out of Egypt and that miracle occurred when they reached to the, to the sea And Allah says, وَإِذْ فَرَقْنَ بِكُمُ الْبَحْرِ And we parted for you the sea. فَأَنْجَيْنَاكُمْ And we delivered you to safety. وَأَغْرَقْنَ آلَ فِرْعَوْنَ وَأَنْتُمْ تَنْزُرُونَ And we destroyed Pharaoh and his army and it happened before your very eyes. After they had crossed the Red Sea, they are now in the desert called Sinai, not the hospital in Manhattan, the desert. Then Musa alayhi salam gives a command to his people. This is, oh, this is after he had gone up the mountain, Allah called him up the mountain. This is Etikaf. Our Etikaf is in the masjid. But his Etikaf was 40 days up in the mountain. And then he came back down with the Torah. Hmm? And then came the command with which we began the lecture. It is in Surah Al-Ma'idah, Surah number 5 of the Quran. The, the Surah entitled, The Table Laden with Food, The Last Supper. The disciples had asked Nabi Isa Islam, Pray to your Lord, give us the Last Supper. Hmm? Surah Al-Ma'idah. And in this surah, this ayah occurs that Musa alayhi salam says to his people, Ya qawmi, O oh my people, Ya qawmi, dukhulu al-ard al-muqaddasa, come on, let us rise, let us enter, let us fight and take control of the holy land. Al-ard al-muqaddasa, the holy land. Ya qawmi dkhulu al-ard al-muqaddasa al-lati kataba Allahu lakum. Let us fight, let us enter, let us take control of the holy land which Allah gave to you. Did you hear that? I'm quoting the Quran. Which Allah gave to you. Says Nabi Musa alayhi salam. Which holy land is this? Makkah and Medina? No. When the Qur'an speaks of the Holy Land, the Qur'an is speaking of that land which today is called Palestine. Mm -hmm. This is the land to which Nabi Ibrahim alayhi salam was taken. You remember they threw him in the fire? Come on, shake your head. They threw him in the fire and then Allah saved him, Allah commanded the fire to be cool, you remember? And then he couldn't live there anymore. So Allah says, 
وَنَجَّيْنَاهُ وَلُوطًا إِلَى الْعَرْضِ الَّتِي بَارَكْنَا فِيهَا لِلْعَالَمِينَ And we took him and his nephew, Nabi Lut alayhi salam, took them to safety, hijrah, took them to a land in which we had placed blessings for all of mankind. This is the Holy Land, Palestine. So Allah gave the land to them, the Israelite people. The descendants of Nabi Ibrahim alayhi salam through his son Ishaq or Isaac. Today they call Jews. Hmm? Allah gave the land to them. That's what the Quran says. Well, how come we don't hear about it? How come CNN doesn't talk about that? How come the New York Times doesn't publish that? That Allah gave the land to them. Their silence is suspicious. Hmm. Maybe that Allah gave the land to them conditionally. Huh? And they don't want people to know that. Look what happens. When Nabi Musa Islam says, come on, let us fight, let us take control of the Holy Land which Allah gave to you. How did they respond? They knew that there were a powerful people in the land. Ever heard about Goliath? Goliath, Jalut, powerful. So it's going to be a big fight. And they didn't want to fight. No. So they said to Nabi Musa alayhi salam, they said, you and your Lord, both of you go and fight. We stay right here. Now this is very insulting. We cannot understand how is it that the people can be so insulting to their prophet who is living in their midst. And this happens just after Allah had worked the miracle of crossing the sea. When they gave that answer, Allah's anger was great with them. So Allah then responded and he banned their entry into the Holy Land. For how long? Forty years. And he spoke to his Nabi Musa alayhi salam and he said to him فَلَا تَأْسَ أَلَى قَوْمِ الْفَاسِكِينَ Do not grieve over these sinful people. Hmm? And so for forty years they were wandering in the wilderness of Sinai. But if Allah gave the land to them how come Allah ban them from entering. It seems as though the grant of the land was not unconditional. The grant was conditional. And when they violated the condition, I threw them out. Okay, check it out. All of this is in the Quran, incidentally. After 40 years, they entered into the Holy Land. Musa al-Islam died without being allowed to enter the Holy Land. Hmm? Joshua, he led them into the Holy Land and they took control of the Holy Land and eventually Nabi Dawood alayhi salam, the Prophet David, he establishes the Holy State of Israel. Excuse me, the Islamic State of Israel. Because it's one religion, Islam. And he chooses Jerusalem as the capital of that state. So we now have a prophet who is a king. And then he is succeeded by his son, Suleiman alayhi salam, the prophet Solomon. And he causes the state of Israel to become the ruling state in the world. What is 